Okay, hi guys. So today we're going to do another ballroom hairstyle for dancing. And uh, it's going to be a high bun. And we're actually going to use several hair nuts to make a more interesting hairstyle. Um, and last time I forgot to tell you how to take the hairstyle out of your hair. Uh, you wash your hair obviously, but it's very important that you start with a conditioner as opposed to the shampoo. So I would actually get under the shower with my hairstyle on. I might like take the stones out of my hair, uh, but I will keep all the pins and everything. And uh, I would just put conditioner on top of my hair and let the hot water run and the hairstyle just dissolves. And the only thing I need to do is then take the elastic out and I just sometimes cut it out because I don't want to mess with my hair and maybe tear it, so I can just give up on the elastic. Um, so that's how I would take it out and I would also use a brush, uh, a comb like this uh, to comb my hair out in the shower so it looks a little bit, or it feels a little more silky. Uh, and another thing I would recommend is instead of a conditioner, you can sometimes use a mask uh, as a conditioner because your hair would really be very grateful for that. So um, now we're going to do the high bun and I'm going to start again with um, the high ponytail and I'm going to leave a front section of the hair out so that I can use, a, use it for a front design. So let's get started. So for the high ponytail, what I like to do, I just think it makes it easier, is to do it upside down. Like that. And you brush your hair down. Hairstyle not on freshly washed hair, but maybe uh, I would wash it the day before. Yeah, and it's um, it's um, if you can always try to not wash your hair for maybe a day or so before the competition, because when you when your hair is a little bit dirty, you notice that it's sort of limp and it kind of lies flat, which is exactly what you want for a competition. You want it to be flat, um, and because of natural oil, you're gonna already have some sort of um, Shine less flyaways. Shine less flyaways, exactly. Perfect. Um, so that's going to help you with the hairstyle. You don't want to work with clean hair if you can avoid it. You can if you have to, but it's like then you might want to hairspray it a lot more with a brushable hairspray so that you actually get a bit of product in it. Mm -hmm. you can behave. So, okay, so I got most of it out. And I'm just going to untie it. And then retie it again. Yeah, and uh, just brush it out again. Yes. So I'm just back combing my hair again, and I separated it into two ponytails this time. And what does that make it do? Does that make it just easier to create different designs if you have two versus one? Like if you're working with two sections versus one? Yeah, because I can make it go more different ways, mm -hmm. basically. Sometimes I would do like maybe even five or six of those because then you can really do like a lot of designs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just brush it up so it's a little neater. So I still put them in a hair nut, which looks like this. I don't think we showed it in, our, in this video. I think we did. Oh, we did? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we use the, these ones. Yeah, that's the one that you used last time. Okay. Just put the pin around the base of the hair nut and stick it in. And the direction you stick it in, just kind of uh, figure out which way do you think your hair is going to go. So I think I'm going to wrap one of the um, strands kind of going this way first. So I'm going to send the hair net up. There it goes. And you're using two different hair nets for this, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going 
to send one of those um, ponytails around the elastic that grounds the design. I'm going to pin it under the elastic. This ponytail goes on top. And I'm again trying not to squish the hair um, and trying to give it more volume as I'm pinning it up. It's more like, I don't know, it's a very sculpted look. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, ju I just kind of feel where the hairstyle goes. And uh, I pick up the mirror every so often to check it. I like that. I think it's fun. And it's a nice 3D dimensional look. Yeah, I, I don't like the sculpted look to it. So now I just add pins, trying not to squish the design. And I'm going to add a lot of hairspray to it. And then, once it dries, add more pins. <laughs> so you add pins, and you dry it, and then you add more pins? Yeah. Why do you do it after it dries? Uh, because I think if I add too many pins before I spray it, uh, it might weigh the hairstyle down. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I so you want as much dimension. Oh, I see. And so you kind of want to secure it as much as possible beforehand with the hairspray and the drying. And then if you need to add more hair clips for support, then you do that. Yeah. So I'm just spraying it, and I would just go and add more spray. Maybe I would spray it for like five minutes, like the continuously, Not continuously. nonstop. I, I, I would spray. I would spray it, and I wait five minutes and spray it again, and wait wait five minutes to spray it again. Like when I'm doing this at the, at the house, I might actually spray it and go do something mm -hmm. else. Yeah. And while well, this is drying, I can do something with the front. Okay, so what are you going to do with the front this time? Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I really never know what I'm going to do before I start doing it. you're not really hairspraying it just yet, you can mold it anywhere you want, right? Yeah, it's not that strong, so you can brush it out still. Mm -hmm. Bangs are sometimes tricky because they're not long. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so how would you style that? Would you just make it go with one of the ones that you already just did now? Or, I see glue coming! I sometimes like just to glue that on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm gonna spray. 
create some more over here to just get rid of this tiny hair. Mm -hmm. The baby hairs. I hate the baby hairs. So this is one of the moments where I might use a little bit of gel. Mm -hmm. The one I like is um, Aussie. Okay. And why do you like this one specifically? Um, I think that this one um, doesn't darken my hair too much. Oh, um, okay. With blondes, you have to use something that uh, doesn't change your hair color to brown mm -hmm. <laughs> or gray. That makes sense. But like, if you have a darker hair color, then you can pretty much use whatever you want, right, for hair gel? I think it's much easier with a darker hair, hair color, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think my hair wants to go this way today. All right, then we'll put it that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because sometimes what I would do is actually would hold it on there like this. Oh, I see. That's cool. That's why. Actually, it, it says it will cooperate. <laughs> Your hair's telling you what to do. Oh, it has a mind of its own. <laughs> it's funny. So does um does hair gel actually change your hair color sometimes? Yeah, it would actually make it uh, like. It's very light here, mm -hmm. uh, but some of the hair gels would make my hair um, close to this color. Oh wow, like it would actually be really dark. Yeah. Huh. How strange. I never thought that like hair gel could actually change the hair color. It just makes it look, it looks wet. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, so sometimes just the glue holds it, uh, just the gel, um, but I might add some glue on top. And then the glue dries clear, right? It does, yeah. It starts white, mm -hmm. but then it would um, be invisible. And what I would usually do is I would put a few red stones on top mm -hmm. of it. So before. you don't really see um, like the fold, right? Or the um, I think it's fine if, even if it's noticeable, mm -hmm. because you know, it's just still like a hair design. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I would just spray that. And now I have to think about what to do with the hairs in the back. Okay, so I had a, a strand on top um, from the front, and then I just decided to stick into another one. Because I don't have too many uh, pins in, I can still change what I can put under the bun, mm -hmm. and then add some more things. So you would just dry your hair once again with the hair dryer and add a little more pins, and then you're good to go. Yeah, and I actually might do it several times. Spray, mm -hmm. dry, spray, dry. Some people also use gel in their hairstyles, mm -hmm. I don't because it darkens my hair usually. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in that case, you put gel, spray, dry, repeat. Yeah, I know guys do that a lot. Yeah, and I think uh, girls with darker hair also do that. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I think I took care of all the the flyaways. Pieces, yeah. The bit on top that I want to change. Sure, like this. Yeah. So um, I think this is this would be a finished hairstyle, and uh, I like rhinestones, so I would probably glue some rhinestones in my hair with this. Or sometimes I might use Gouta glue, and it's really easy to use. It's just basically, um, I'm going to show it in my hand. Just have to apply pressure, and I'm really close to you. it comes out like this, and it's nice and pretty and glittery. Mm -hmm. And you can paint with it. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this hairstyle and now we're going to do Maya's hair and show you another style. Okay.